guys and welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to easily find a TDC or top dead center. And first you got to find number one cylinder. And this works on any engine. Uh, but before I get on with it, I'd like to mention to please subscribe to my channel. Uh, click that thumbs up button. It helps a lot and uh, share this with anybody that uh, needs any knowledge on this subject So this is my big block 440 That's gonna go into my Dodge Dart Swinger eventually And we're gonna find uh, first to find top dead center. We got to find number one cylinder Which on a Chrysler small block or big block is if you're looking from the front of the motor, it's on the right hand side, it's the first cylinder. I got them all marked here, but it goes one, three, five, seven, and on the other side, two, four, six, and eight in the very back. So we're going to want to take this plug wire off, unscrew this plug here. And of course on this motor you take a 5 8 spark plug socket, loosen it up, and we'll take this socket out. Excuse me, spark plug. And now we got the hole for number one cylinder. So basically what you're going to want to do is turn the motor over manually. I usually use a breaker bar in my inch and a quarter socket. And I've actually got it on number one already, so I'm not going to do this, but you'd want to turn the motor over. And you want to keep turning it until it's on its compression stroke. And you'll actually feel or hear like a little gust of wind coming out of this hole and that's when you know it's on number one and actually you can st I usually stick a like a little flat blade in there and I can feel you can feel it in there once the pistons all the way to the top and then if you look at your harmonic dampener this one has an aftermarket one but your line should be on zero and that would be top dead center. And this also helps you out when you're wiring your cap. Review this real quick. You want to turn the motor over until number one reaches its compression stroke and the pistons all the way up. Stick a screwdriver there in there and you can feel it rise all the way to the top. And then if you're just a hair off, just turn your harmonic dampener a little bit until it's zero. And then you know you got top dead center. Anyways, guys, I hope this helps some people out. I'm going to finish working on my uh, 440. So I thought I'd show you real quick what I was talking about on the distributor. So we got the harmonic dampener. Timing line at zero. Check to make sure it was on number one cylinder. And follow my number one spark plug wire so this is my number one plug wire on the cap so when we take the cap off that rotor should be pointing that right that direction and you can see it is so it's pointing right on number one and then if you're wiring up the cap you would just follow the firing order So you'd see one, eight, because that plug wire goes all the way back to the eight cylinder. I think it's one, eight, four. That goes to number four. Yeah, so it goes uh, one, eight, four, three, and so on. And it's uh, big block Chryslers with the distributor mounted in the front. 
It's a counterclockwise firing order. Small blocks, the distributor's in the back, and it's clockwise. But it's still the same firing order. Uh, I believe Chevrolet is the same as well. And I think Chevrolet number one cylinder is on the same side. I'm pretty, pretty positive on that. I think Ford is the only one that's the opposite. Their number one cylinder, I think, is over here. So, Anyways, guys, 